Being a hero in the 23rd century is challenging. You have to be good with guns, drive flying cars, battle vicious aliens, fly spaceships, and through it all, keep a good sense of humor. Uh, are you classified as human? Uh, negative. I am a meat popsicle. For Bruce Willis, this was a challenge worth facing. Anybody else want to negotiate? People in the media try to identify me and say, well, he's, he's this, he's this kind of actor, or he's, this, he's a superstar, or whatever label they want to put on me. I'm still learning how to, how to act, and still I learn things about acting from every film that I do. And, and uh, so, you know, I, 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 it would be very, very, Easy for me, and also very boring for me to just do to just do action movies all the time, and, and it, it would I would, I would probably I'm I am tired of it, uh, so I, I try to find other things to to challenge myself with, and I, I like to do films that that I I'm not quite sure whether I'm going to succeed in, so there's always that risk of failure. But along with risks come rewards. It is a blast. I mean, and, and it's it's one of the reasons that I still enjoy acting is because it's it it you each time you it, it's a it's a new thing and it's a new challenge and you you get to wear new clothes and you get to walk in a in a different time and walk a you know a different way and and that's that's a thing I, I think that that uh, you know keeps it interesting for me. But new challenges were not by themselves enough to attract Bruce Willis to the Fifth Element. It's, a, it's my first. Criteria is, is is working with someone who I think is a is a good storyteller, which really all good directors are. You know that it's and which is a goes back to caveman days and in, in, in cave times there was one guy who who was the guy who said today we killed this big mastodon and here's how we did it and he he made it very exciting and he was a good storyteller and now today we, we call them directors. And for the director of The Fifth Element, one of the major challenges would be how to portray the future. It would be very easy to, to get lost in the 23rd century. One of, the, one of the interesting things that I think Luke was able to do is, is to create a marriage between the, what a, a visual style of the 23rd century and, and yet a very 20th century uh, uh, point of view of an attitude that, that has still carried through over, you know, for 300 years, and that is life is still a, a drag a lot of times, you know. Bruce also discovered that on this film, the director would be operating the camera as well. It's actually a, a, a much more immediate sense of an, an immediate style of acting. Most of the time, you've got to do a take, stop, turn the camera off, get out of the, in this case, the flying cab, go and talk to the guy and say, how was that? Is that what you wanted? And with Luke there, a lot of times we just kept the cam camera rolling, and, and I said, well, he says, good, good, do that, but now do this. And, and so it's a much more immediate sense of, of, uh, of uh, working in a much more organic way of trying new things. By the end of the Fifth Element's shoot, Bruce had flexed his chops, not only in action, but also science fiction, drama, and comedy. Woo! Made it! Ha! Some films I do because I have some particular need to work out some acting problem or, or, or some acting thing. And, and sometimes I, I do films just because they seem like they'd be a lot of fun to do. And, and this film certainly was a lot of fun to do. You're right, you're right. I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have done that. I, it was wrong to kiss you. 